Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MS FT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to configure a Windows LAPS in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory. Windows LAPS is a powerful and easy to set up local administrator password management solution that has great security benefits. Windows LAPS stores local administrator passwords for specific all devices joined to your Active Directory. The current local administrator password is stored in the protected attributes of computer objects in Active Directory and it can be only viewed by authorized users. These passwords will have a strict expiration and rotation time which will aid to prevent takeover and lateral movement during attacks. The new Windows LPS comes with more features and is now built into Windows 10 and Windows 11. So we don't need to install a client on the computers anymore, making it quick and easy for administrators to deploy across an organization. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a Windows LAPS to your Active Directory joint devices. To use the latest version of Windows LAPS that is built directly into your operating system, you must be running any of the following operating systems. For this demo, we have two virtual machines running in Oracle VM VirtualBox. This is our Windows Server 2022 domain controller for msftwebcast.com domain. We have another domain joined a Windows 10 VM. Log on to a Windows Server 2022 domain controller using a domain administrator account. There is no Windows LPS client to download and install on the domain controller like we are used to do with Microsoft LPS because it's already integrated in the Windows Server 2022. Right click the start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Type command gcm-module LAPS and hit enter to verify the LAPS module is loaded. If there is no output after running this command, you must update your Windows Server to the supported version. In order for Windows LAPS to work, you will need to extend the schema with the new attributes that are required. Make sure you are a schema admin to run these commands. To update the Active Directory schema, we can run the command update-laps-ad-schema and hit enter. Type A and hit enter to update the Active Directory schema. We do this on one domain controller, which then will automatically sync the new schema to the other domain controllers in your forest. Let me clear the screen. To verify that the LAPS AD schema ran successfully, run the update-laps AD schema again with the hyphen verbose parameter. The end of the output is important, which shows that the LAPS schema is already extended successfully with these attributes. We can also verify the schema was extended by looking at the computer object in Active Directory Users and Computers. Open Active Directory Users and Computers. Right click the Windows 10 computer account and select Properties. You should see a new LAPS tab. Let's click on LAPS tab. Currently, it's empty for now and will not be populated with the data until you set up the policies in Group Policy. In the next step, we need to set up LAPS Active Directory Computer Permissions. The computers need to have permission to update their passwords in the Active Directory. We do this by setting inheritable permissions on the OU of the computers with the help of the set LAPS AD computer self permission CMD delete in PowerShell. The setting will apply to all nested OUs too. In this example, we have stored the computer account under the OU IND-computers. We want to set that permission on the IND-computers OU. Let's go back to PowerShell. Type cmdelete set hyphen LAPS AD computer self permission hyphen identity 
Here, we need to specify the distinguished name of our OU. In our case, it is OU is equal to IND hyphen computers, DC is equal to MSFT webcast, DC is equal to COM. Press Enter key to execute the CMD late. We can confirm that the CMD late executed successfully. So we have configured required permissions on our OU IND computers. Now the computer accounts stored under this OU has a permission to update their password in Active Directory. To configure LAPS, we will need to create a new GPO and configure it with required settings. Go back to Server Manager. On Server Manager's tool menu, select Group Policy Management. Let me maximize the GPMC console, expand our forest, expand domains, and this is the name of our Active Directory domain, which is msftwebcast.com. Let's click on Group Policy Objects. Right click the Group Policy Objects node and select New. In the new GPU dialog box, enter a friendly name for the new GPU. For example, Windows LPS Taste GPU. Now click on OK. A new GPU is added to the Group Policy Objects container. Right click the newly created GPU and select Add it. In the Group Policy Management Editor window, navigate to Computer Configuration, Policies, Administrative Templates, System and click on LPS. Double click on Configure Password Backup Directory setting. Select Enabled and choose the backup directory to either Active Directory or Azure Active Directory. We want to store passwords in our on-premises Active Directory, so we will select Active Directory option. Click on Apply and OK. Next, double-click on Password Settings setting. This policy setting determines the password complexity, password length and password age in days. Let's enable this policy setting by selecting the radio button Enabled. This is the default settings which you can change it as per your requirements. The password must have large letters, small letters, numbers and special characters. The password length will be 14 characters and the password age will be 30 days. Click on Apply and OK. Next, double click on the name of the administrator account to manage setting. Enable it and set the account name to your custom admin account name on client computer. In our case, the admin account name on our client computer is MSFT admin. After entering administrator account name, click on apply and OK. If you don't configure this setting, then the built-in administrator account will be used. There are a couple of other settings that you might want to enable. Double click on Post Authentication Actions. Let's enable the setting and let's add the grace period value to 8 hours. The setting is triggered when the LPS password is used. It will reset the password and optionally log off the managed account after, for example, 8 hours. Let's click on Apply and OK. If you create snapshots of your computers, then it might be interesting to enable the password history settings. For example, this will store the last 12 passwords in the Active Directory, allowing you to log in with the local admin account when restoring an old snapshot. I'm going to cancel it. Remember, to use this setting, you will need to enable password encryption as well. Enable password backup of DSRM accounts setting allows the DSRM administrator account to be backed up to Active Directory. Again, password encryption must be enabled for the settings to apply successfully. For this example, we have only configured these four settings. At this point, we have now configured LPS using Group Policy. Let's close the Group Policy Editor window. In the next step, we will link the GPU to our IND Computers OU. Right click the IND Computers OU and select Link an Existing GPU. From the list, select Windows LPS Taste GPU, which we have just created and configured. Click OK. We can confirm that the GPU has been successfully linked to our IND Computers OU. Now, restart the end user device 
ensuring it is on the domain network and LPS will take effect immediately. Let's go to our Windows 10 computer. This is our domain joint computer and we have already logged in using the domain user account named Deepak Patel. Earlier, we did enable the name of administrator account to manage setting and set the administrator account to name to MSFT admin. The LPS GPU will not create your local administrator account on all the machines. That's something you have to take care of with another GPU, a PowerShell script or another choice. Right click the start menu and select computer management. Expand local users and groups and click on users. We can see the MSFT admin local admin exists on our Windows 10 computer. Let's double click on it and we can confirm it is the member of administrators group. Let's close computer management, open run menu, type cmd and press enter key to open command prompt. At command prompt, type command gp update slash force to manually update the group policy to speed up the process. The Windows LAPS configuration is successfully completed. Wait for Windows 10 to restart. Now let's see how to retrieve the LAPS password in GUI and PowerShell. Go back to our domain controller. Go to Active Directory Users and Computers. Click on IND Computers OU and double click the Win10 CLI01 computer account. Go to LAPS tab. You will see that the fields are now filled in and are not empty anymore. It means that Active Directory connected with the Windows computer and synchronized the password information of local administrator account named MSFT admin. Click on show password to see the password. Here we can see the local admin MSFT admin's current password for this computer account. There is another way to get the LAPS password and information is with PowerShell. Go back to PowerShell. Let me clear the screen. Type command get hyphen LAPS AD password and fill in the target computer including hyphen as plain text parameter. So our command will be get hyphen LAPS password hyphen identity which is going to be win10 hyphen CLI01 hyphen as plain text. Now hit enter key to execute the same delete. We can see the current password of MSFT admin. In case of emergency, you can now use this password to sign into Windows 10 computer using the local admin account. In this video, you learn how to configure a Windows LPS in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory. The Windows local administrator password solution as an excellent Windows feature to manage local administrator passwords for domain joint computers. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.